Uh, as the presidential race has political analysts focused on Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, the LA Times turned its attention to Brentwood this weekend, where Vice President Kamala Harris and second gentleman Doug Emhoff call home. The second couple sitting down for a rare joint interview and revealing their favorite things about LA. Courtney Sumeranian is a White House reporter for the Los Angeles Times. She wrote Sunday's piece called Inside Kamala Harris and Doug Emhoff's LA. She joins us live now with more. Courtney, congratulations on the piece. What was the big thing you learned from it? Well, you know, I think one of the things I learned um, is just how, you know, for Biden, it's a lot easier to get home. It's a quick up and down flight from here in D.C. But for Harris, it takes a lot to get back out west. And one of the stories she told me um, that just really illustrated how much she she understands what it's like to be an Angelino was what it was like to find out when her house was being evacuated during the Getty fire in 2019 and just how gut-wrenching that was. She ended up on the phone FaceTiming with uh, Doug Emhoff's son, Cole, basically negotiating what to take out of the house. He was in his early 20s at the time, and they had two very different understandings of what was valuable. And I think that was something that any Angelino can uh, relate to when they're thinking about, you know, what it's like to live in the city. And it talks about a lot of their favorite places. They talked about El Cholo and Zanku Chicken and <laughs> talked about how their first date was at Craig's. A lot of these places are places people know. Uh, in the piece, there wasn't a lot of talk about, like, policy, immigration, reproductive rights, inflation. She does that in other settings. Was that sort of the premise of the story, that this wasn't going to be that, it was going to be different? Was that sort of what you guys agreed on? Yes, I've I've had a chance to interview her on a lot of different policy areas. Um, this was this interview did take place a week after the October seven, ex, excuse me, the October seventh uh, Hamas attacks on Israel. So we did get a little bit into uh, that area, which I wrote a separate piece uh, back in October about how Doug Emhoff was handling it. Uh, the vice president was a little a little bit mum on the issue for obvious reasons, but uh, this interview really focused on their life in L.A., sketching out what that looks like when Air Force Two touches down. And it was also the first time that the two of them have sat down together uh, since they've been the second couple. Uh, what did you make of their dynamic? Well, for Kamala Harris, uh, you know, she's a very scripted politician. Uh, she's under a lot of scrutiny. She has faced, you know, GOP attacks. She has faced criticism within her own party. But talking to her next to the second gentleman, it was very clear that, you know, she's a little bit more at ease when he's around. They're a little bit more playful around each other. And it was interesting to see them sort of play off each other when they were recounting their lives in L.A., what it was like before Secret Service, and then obviously after. Yeah, and he's much more of an L.A. guy. Uh, he went to high school at Agora High School, my high school. He went to CSUN, USC, West Side Lawyer. She spent so much of her time in the Bay Area. Now she calls herself a Sangelino, which was a phrase she made up, apparently, uh, to talk about San Francisco and Angelino. So when they're here, though, they interrupt traffic in a big way. <laughs> and oftentimes her motorcade it shuts down rush hour traffic. Did you get a sense that they're aware of that impact and, and are conscious of that? Yes, the second couple are very aware of just how much traffic they cause, you know, even a trip to the park with their with Harris's nieces is an ordeal. And, you know, so that's why a lot of time when they are home, they are home. But for all the privacy, you know, what I wanted to get at was sketching out what their life looks like when they're there. Uh, but just talking to staff, talking to aides, talking to, for to Secret Service agents, former Secret Service agents, it, it was very clear that they understand the traffic that they cause. And that's something they try to limit when they're in town, but it's impossible to escape. And do you get a sense that they're going to be doing more of this kind of stuff uh, as the election year goes ahead? I think you'll see Harris in more media interviews. She's expected to be on the campaign trail. I've talked to her staff. They're really ramping up, and they want to make her a more visible uh, figure uh, on the Biden campaign. So I would expect to see a bit more of Harris's personality uh, in the media. Courtney from the L.A. Times, thank you so much uh, for your reporting on this. We really appreciate you joining us.